So back to the golf cart. I took this bolt out, center of the secondary clutch, and then there's a couple bolts. There's one here, and there's one back here somewhere. And I'm going to take them out. They go right in here. And then I'm going to see if this don't go out of there. Or if I can get this out of the way, it go a lot better. I guess there's four bolts in it. Okay, so there's that bolt on the clutch. I took it out, took the big washer off of it, and just left a little washer on and put it back in, ran it down, finger tight. My plans are, I'm going to spray this again with some penetrating oil. But I'm thinking about going on the back side with a pry bar, just pulling out a little bit, and hit this with a blunt air chisel and just see if it pops off or not. You want to make sure you pull out so you're not driving the shaft back in there into the transmission. I'm not sure what you're going to see of this. I'm going to time fitting myself in there. I'm going to try to pry out behind that clutch. I don't want to break nothing. come right off so there's that now I just went in there against this and just barely cut pressure out on it and I did let it soak for a day or two so that come off so now let's get that off there and see what we got That was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Like I say, I'd soaked that in crow oil for a couple days. Um, I don't clean this shaft up really, really well. And I will never seize the crap out of it before I put another clutch on. So here's what I got. One piece is broke off there. I guess what I need to do is compress this. Get this C-clip off of here. And um, see if there's play in the rest of this clutch. Now I want to keep note that this spring is clocked in the center hole. And now I'm going to go back here to the press and rig something up very dangerous probably to push down a little bit on that and get that C-clip out. Okay, so what I'd done was I just took it back here on the press. And um, I got this dodgy set up with a piece of angle iron. If this angle iron was more square it would be better. But you're just putting enough pressure down to try to get this C-clip out. Once you get the pressure off, you can stop. There's not that much pressure. So I'm not so worried about it. Do whatever you want to do to feel safe. There went the end of my um, snap ring flyer it broke off. I think what the problem is, I'm against that piece of angle. Now I can just slowly let her up. Not under that much spring tension, guys. I should probably jump when it comes release here in a minute. It should come up off there. Alrighty. So I'm going to say the aluminum is stuck on there. <laughs> That's a shame too because it went down some. Let me try to move it a couple times here. Try 
Gotta move it down, see if the spring pressure will bring it back up. I have to get some spray and put it in there, and then I have to try to let it up and see what happens. Worst comes to worst, I'll just smack that off with a hammer and break it. The only thing I might need to save is a spring. I'm more or less wanting to see if there's a bunch of play in that wheel. There she comes. Now I have to remember where that was clocked. Yeah. A lot of wear. So maybe this broke on its own. I'm gonna do it and show you guys, but it keeps moving. So let me gather up my pieces and um, decide what I'm gonna do here. So what I see is there is some wear and grooves and broken. Okay. The spring. Can I use this in a 97 and up cart? I said something about a power spring. A lot of people says I don't need it. Not running stock tires and stuff. Now here, I have to save this keyway. Maybe you can get them. If you look at these ramps, this side is nice where it hasn't been touching. But you can't see where they have been cutting. So, I think they start out symmetrical. The other thing is, like I showed you, this has a lot of play in it. It's hard to do without holding it steady. But. So I guess I'm going to try a clutch. I'm going to get an expensive clutch and see what happens. Change the spring for this spring if I can. If I can't, then I gotta order the power spring. But there's the end I like to use on the air hammer. It looks like a hammer head. I use that for a lot. It frees up a lot of stuff. Now keep in mind, I did soak it down for a day or two with this. Which is, that's some good stuff. And I like this too. Today I use this on it. That soaking for a couple of days I think will really help. <laughs> 